Hello there, everyone. Hal Jackie here. Long time no see. It's been a while, but uh, a week on, a week off of SimCity. Brand new month, October. The uh, what is it now? October the second. It's midnight my time. Um, today I'm going to be working on building a new interchange for the uh, Real Highway mod based on uh, some real-world examples. I have made several of them in the past. Uh, you can check my highway interchange videos on YouTube to uh, pretty much watch me drive over them and there's also various threads on Centropolis and SimCity 4 Devotion that have me showcasing it in photo form and everything I try to get it out. So today I'm going to be working on this junction. I think you can see it if I just port it over to the uh, to the view here. Uh, it's called the, uh, the Freeman Interchange. I don't know how it got its name like that, but it's basically a uh, very unique looking junction that I would like to replicate in SimCity 4 because I've done so many standard designs in the past. So a uh, bit of a rundown here of what it is. You have uh, on this side highway number 403 and on this, this interchange is in uh, Burlington, Ontario, just very close to Toronto. On this side you have uh, highway 403 and it comes uh, from Hamilton and Brantford and areas like that if you're familiar with the uh, geography of southern Ontario and it junctions here with the the Queen Elizabeth Way which is the main trunk route between Toronto and uh, Niagara Falls it goes all the way to Buffalo as well um, and to the north here we have uh, Highway 407 it's the uh, electronic route electronic toll route it's basically like a toll highway but you don't need to stop and pay tolls it's all done automatically by scanning your license plate or finding your transponder or something so um, these three roads meet uh, the 403 and the QEW it's how it's Queen it's how the Queen Elizabeth ways you know pronounced in the short form they kind of converge here and head into Toronto this way the 407 bypasses Toronto Niagara Falls is this way and Hamilton and Brantford and stuff it's all this way here so anyways the junction is kind of built in pieces because I think originally you just had the Queen Elizabeth Way go through in a curve because it kind of passes Lake Ontario here in a uh, kind of a sky bridge land bridge kind of way there's a port here so um, it just kind of curves right and then eventually the 403 was built and linked into it so it was kind of like half a junction and then they put in the 407 and it kind of made a complete you know, junction and also a complete mess. So if we go to the satellite view, you know, it's pretty crazy. You got some, all the roads kind of split up. Some are, you know, pretty curvy. You got some flyover ramps. You got a single loop ramp. These local connections I'm not going to worry about. So I'm really going to be working on building this in, uh, in SimCity 4. I don't know if I'll have it all done in one video. But uh, definitely good kind of overview showing of how I can do it. A little bit of a zoom out while I have uh, Google Maps on. This is kind of the uh, location of it. See Burlington and stuff. Um, and then by reference, here's Toronto. And then here's Niagara Falls and Buffalo and stuff. This is where I'm from. It's from uh, London, Ontario, so I'm not too far away. It's about an hour and a half drive uh, to this junction, maybe less. It's about an hour to Brantford from all the way over here, so yeah, it's about it's about something like that. Just got to go through uh, the built-up area of uh, southern Ontario. Anyways, back to SimCity. Uh, first of all, looks like I am uh, I'm playing StarCraft II on my Twitch feed, so I should probably get that changed to saying that I'm playing uh, SimCity 4. And get wow, looks like you're building a uh, confusing interchange. Yes, I am. I am playing SimCity 4 Rush Hour. Like that really makes much of a difference. Why are you not changing over? Update. There we go. So I'm basically going to have that map uh, just on my other computer. I have uh, my other computer monitor. I have two monitors. Basically, you're looking at one over here. Uh, just for reference, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, 
if I bring it over too, I can also show you another junction nearby that I actually recreated. So I'm working. I'm going to be working on this one, of course. But if you just go up the 407, the road here. My last interchange video, I worked on. Uh, oh, I guess it's a lot further away than that. I worked on this junction here, which is kind of like a. Uh, both both routes kind of curve like 90 degrees, and uh, they also exchange in the middle. So it's like the main route curves. You don't stand. So this is the 403 right here, and it kind of curves and goes this way into uh, Mississauga. And the 407 kind of curves and uh, does the same thing to bypass the city of Mississauga, which is uh, an, an enormous suburb of uh, Toronto. And they basically meet together here if you go to satellite mode and stuff. So that was a really fun uh, experience building this junction because it's just such a maze and a mess. And I like uh, unique designs like that. So, yeah, this is another crazy one, but it's not uh, its not a complete full four-way four interchange or whatever. You can't go, like, in every which direction in that. That's with the uh, highway number 401. Anyways, back to SimCity. So I'm going to have the, uh, the junction on my other monitor. Just to view some things. I should probably get rid of this river in case I need it. I probably don't, but uh, you never know. I'm just starting off with a blank city. There, make everything level. I'm just starting off with a blank city, just in case you know I kind of screw up and then make things that are a lot bigger than I thought, or are too close to an obstacle like a mountain or a river or whatever. So. Uh, start by building. So we have just want to look at this again. Got uh, QEW that kind of curves and there's like a ramp that goes over it. But then it kind of goes straight through again. So I'm basically going to start by building uh, this, this big 90 degree curve here. But i got to leave room for this. So we'll maybe start with uh, What do you call it? The uh, the double the double curve. Yeah, this thing. So just okay, so four three is going to come this way. Four oh seven is going to go up. QEW is coming down this way, so the curve actually has to start this way. And I'll make sure that I got enough room here for a. Uh, for an overpass of some sort. I think I need an extra tile or two. I'm just going to put this here for for reference of where it needs to be. Can it be a little bit closer? I think it can. Anything I can do to save, you know, an extra tile, you know, it makes it that much smaller in size. So up like that. And that won't actually go all the way through. I need an extra tile. So just one more. Oops. I'm really screwing up here. I'm going to be doing a lot of messing up. Um, especially when I get some of the groundwork on the way because I'm basically a trial and error guy when it comes to building stuff like this. Definitely can't rush it. Oh, why don't you want to build straight? That's good. That way I can get the full route through. So now I know exactly where the uh, where one of the routes goes. So I'm just going to drag that out just uh, so it's there. This would be like on the ground level. I think I'll plop in those flyover pieces too just so I have them. Um, this is always kind of tricky. 
got to make sure you do it right. So I want it to go in that direction. Just like that. And then you complete the other side. And then you head uh, to the next side. Kind of just like that. And I can use filler pieces or whatever for the next part. I just want to make sure that I have it done. You know what, I could probably get away with not even using filler pieces if I plop a couple starters in here. So I think this would be something interesting to do on the uh, on the live stream because it's something that you have never really shown uh, before. I do kind of photo guides for the uh, the Real Highway Interchange Guide. You know, those tutorials and things. I find that pictures are a better way. And I'm not really showing how to build uh, this junction, you know, in like a textbook kind of way. I'm just being creative and being myself to uh, basically get it done. Oh, is it overriding? See, it goes like that. I just want to get the... Uh, Curves in now. Ah, there we go. There, no overriding necessary. Perfect. Get rid of these starter pieces in case uh, I need them for some reason. Give the game a bit of a save. So just going back here for reference so you can see, I basically just built this curve and got that, uh, that key over passed on as well. So next, I guess I need another part that kind of goes over here. So you know how it goes kind of over here. I can't really do three full levels so close in SimCity. So what I'll do is I'll actually build that kind of ramp connecting piece right where this ends, like right here. I just wonder if I have enough room for something like that. I could also tunnel beneath, but tunnel networks are kind of finicky. Um, no, it's got to stay elevated. Because we got to have that whole loop section, so there's no way I can tunnel below. So, what is the best way to do this? Can I lower this ramp just in time? Because I think I need an extra tile for the uh, the starter piece. It doesn't need to be exact, though. Like, I'm just making a recreation of the... Uh, of the design, not a complete, you know, staying true to the form uh, redesign of the junction. So I will build, I will actually lower this ramp. Where is it? So we'll go off, and while we're at it I'll go on. And then on this side, I gotta go. I gotta go on. I guess that's the best way for it to work. I think I can go under that. And then for this side, I'll go off. And so basically, we'll just uh, drag that through just so it works. Give this a bit of a drag, so we basically got two of the uh, connecting ramps done. Just bringing this over again, because I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right. So those are done. I think at this point I'll do the loop ramp as well. 
I think that means I need an extra tile for the uh, acceleration lane. Can I squeeze that extra one in here? Actually, I need uh, I need another road here. I'm getting really ahead of myself. I need another route to go this way, and then the loop kind of attaches to that. So this this piece here is needs to be extended a lot at this point. And then here I'll build that uh, four-lane ramp split. Whatever it's called, I don't know the names. They've changed so much. I think I bypassed it. Ah, this is the one I want. 8SD2. Back in my day, D meant uh, the far ramps, I believe. Okay. So that looks better. And then I need another ramp to join here. It's going to come on this side. So just be back in the day, it was also this is the uh, type C, but now it's marked with the type F ramps. No, not the, the, uh, the 6S. It's type D as well? Oh, because it's only one lane that enters. Okay. Can I build it right there? I guess so. And then build the kind of a curve thing here. Actually, I won't worry about that right now. I need... I'm going to build a nice ramp. Uh, if I can. I can probably put this on slope. And then make it nice and sloped. So let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Find those uh, hole digging lots. There's one special hole digging lot that does the opposite of digging a hole. It actually lifts the ground, the anti-trench, to the perfect level that you need uh, for these transitions to work. Oops. Let's kind of worry about that in a bit. And you kind of just need to plop, uh, looks kind of strange. I might have to replop this. I'll worry about it in a minute. Uh, find the, the on-slope transition, that way you don't need, kind of need like a, a build-up between the ground and elevated section that you kind of just merge uh, simultaneously. So you kind of just madly scroll through all these pieces again until you find the one you want. Uh, to ground. Do I want three lanes here? Because I want an acceleration lane. Yes, I want three lanes. Because two of the lanes stay and one of them leaves. This is going to be a long design now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I actually want to make this three lanes. Which means I gotta rebuild this section here. It's not that big of a deal. You'd think it'd take a lot more work than it actually does. Just kind of scroll. The uh, the three-lane elevated highway, the RHW6S, is a newer addition to the uh, to the mod. And it's very helpful for situations like this where you want one of the ramps to end. Does this override? I've actually never done this before. No. All right. Can I just drag it out real nice. Uh, it doesn't like me in this particular spot. Fine. If you want to be so picky. Oh, is it because it's too close? See, the uh, RSW4 network is much more stable. This is a, you know, a, newer, a newer one. I wonder if there's a way I can fix that without making it like so massive that I have to redo everything. I could put that ramp here and bring it much closer. That would mean that I'd have to go this way. I don't really want to do that if I don't want to. But it seems like the right thing to do. Besides that loop, I mean this this ramp is 
much longer than what I'm building in here. So it's back to the drawing board, I guess. And yes, this is exactly how I build some of my uh, some of my junctions like this. A lot of trial and error, but to me, you know, this is how you play the game. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. But the thing is, as soon as I did that, I realized that I can't draw a three-lane curve over a uh, over a curved rail highway. So that that lane comes back. So that work I just did. I demolished for no reason. It's something I gotta keep. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. I just gotta work at uh, how to fix this up. Uh, streaming at a time where a lot of people aren't online, I guess. Only got a couple people looking at my uh, video live. I'll have this on YouTube a little bit later, though. Um, I wonder if there's a way I could just pretty much force it to uh, get all three network, all three lanes here to get through. Like if I place like a, a starter piece here, it doesn't like me over here. It's all right. I'll make it like me. Fillers, I don't want fillers. Kind of just force it, force it to like me. Hey, what? What? All right, it likes me now. So that's good. But can I drag another ramp through here? That's the big question because I need that loop ramp to join. If not, I can make it join on this side, I guess. So it's not the end of the world. Um, I gotta delete this starter piece. Why does it always drag his three lanes? I don't know. Just some glitch. Not the end of the world, though. Now it wants to drag, no problem. What's wrong with it? I must be doing something right this time. Okay, let's basically rebuild everything. Have the curve. And then where'd this where'd this road end? It's right about there, right? Uh, no, it was actually a little bit further away. Put both tiles here. No, it's definitely it's definitely the one that was further away. No, no, this is this was the spot, right? Am I just building this one tile further away than what it was? I think so. Which means I got to redo this. Oh, the funds of interchange design. Remember, this wasn't the real highway. It never came with SimCity out of the box. So, you know, this mod was made for torture. And I, for one, love it. All right, let's try this again. Let's do it with the, the full starter piece because it seemed to like me better that way. It went right here, and then the second part went right here. And then we dragged, and now it doesn't like me anymore. It's like this particular spot, it doesn't like me, but over here it does.
I want to know why that is. What if I just dragged it like that? Okay, fine. Let's override this side again. It's like this central span doesn't like me. Oops. I didn't mean to pop that there. This whole interchange is going to crap. But eventually it will form into... Uh, something half recognizable. Okay, let's build the actual highway here. Kind of extend it as much as we can. So why doesn't it like me here? Wait, there we go. Okay, now drag the th drive the third route through, and it reverts. Okay, that's good. I want to keep this as level as I can. So let's get rid of that puzzle piece because if I want a fourth lane coming through, I need to make sure that it's uh, open. That's not the one I want. Starter piece. All right. Please work. Please just drag and work. Can I redraw anywhere? No. Nope, doesn't like me. But as I said, there are... There are ways of around it. So let's get that uh, starter back. I guess it needs that. That piece there just to confirm that everything works. Wow, this thing is just hating me right now. There we go. Road. Connection. But that's what you get when you uh, when you build complicated stuff like this. Oh my goodness, I had it! And now you're not letting me have it? But I... I had it at one point. I have it now. I gotta build this splitter thing again, but I gotta I gotta tail it back anyway, so that's okay. Let's just get this curve in again. So I basically need three lanes here again. I'm not gonna touch this. I don't even know if I want to give this a save right now. My whole digging lots are gone. I'll have to redo that. But it's not quite level. I want to make sure everything's level because then something's going to screw up later. Alright. I'm going to give this a bit of a save. I study this a little bit more. So yeah, the split actually doesn't happen to like over here, so that's okay. I'm not going to worry about this whole loopy thing anyway. Alright, so. I think it's like a... That is still not level. Whatever I did did not like me. I need like a tef type F piece now. I think that's what you call it. Don't worry, it'll all fix itself up in a bit. 
type D, oh, it's E. And then I'll place that splitting piece, what was it, E2 or D2 or something, over here. Or my 6C, 8S, aha! Okay, I got something conflicting here. Ah. Uh, Always some oh If you want to see me rage, this is pretty much it right here. I wonder if I can just get this one tile closer. Because this part is It's not two tiles of road, it's only one, the RHW6 road or elevated part. No, that's not letting me get any closer. That's alright, I don't want to disturb anything like that. It looks okay too, it gives me an extra, extra tile to make my little loop thing. Uh, so let's keep scrolling through the things. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. There it is. All right, I'm definitely going to give that a save now. Oh, I thought I missed it for a second there. I'll definitely give it a save. That looks like I did nothing there. That just looks like a mess. That looks like a complete mess right now. But it's a start. I think I'm going to end that part here. work on them some more tomorrow. I just want to finish by making it look somewhat uh, somewhat like a road. Uh, let's just make these ramps go through. Of course it doesn't want me to do that. There we go. I think that's where it needs to be. Actually, I can get it a little bit tighter. So I'll just kind of drag it like that so I know where it goes. And just plop these. Get that override. So we get uh, two lanes on each side. Plop. Get these fillers in. Not cosmetic, not cosmetic filler. No, not filler. It is a filler, but it's. Yeah, it's this one. When you do it a second time, you're definitely a lot faster. These are just going to make sure that the. Uh, Lines made up. Just give that a bit of an extension. This will probably I'll probably do this fractional angle to meet up with this road and in a similar way. So there, that looks half done. I'll give it a save and a quit, and continue on at another time. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Take care.